Hello, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how we can determine the resistivity of a wire. We have here a circuit, a power supply, a potentiometer, a rheostat which is used to adjust the resistance, a switch, an ammeter, a voltmeter connected across a length of wire that we have uh, in crocodile clips. Can't really see the wire very clearly. But it is there and a vernier caliper. I could also use a micrometer here. I'm going to use the equation R equals rho L over A. The resistance is equal to the resistivity multiplied by the length divided by the cross-sectional area. We're going to use that to determine it. So some of the things we're going to need to measure here are voltage and current in order to determine the resistance, the length of the wire that we're interested in, and the cross-sectional area of the wire. So the first thing we're going to do is to use the vernier caliper to determine the thickness of the wire. We're going to do that in a few different places along the wire and take an average to find the average thickness and therefore the average cross-sectional area. That should remain constant throughout the experiment. I've adjusted the potentiometer to give us a, a voltage of approximately one volt. That's going to vary through the experiment and that's given us a current of 0.15 amps. It's important that we keep that current constant, so we're going to adjust the potentiometer throughout the experiment in order to keep that constant. The length of the wire between the crocodile clips, you can measure on our meter rubber there, as 0.5 meters. So, we're going to record that length of 0.5 and this current of 0.15. and then we're going to vary the length. So if we move the crocodile clip along, we now have a length of 0 0.6, so we'll record a length of 0 0.6 metres, and we now need to adjust the, the real sat again so that we can get uh, 0 0.15 amps. Okay, that's adjusted and we take our new measurement of the voltage, which is 1.18 volts. So we are keeping the, the current constant and changing the volts and the length, recording those two values. We can then plot a graph of voltage against length, and, use it, and from that graph, we'll find that the gradient is the resistivity multiplied by the current divided by the cross-sectional area. Since, since both the current and the cross-sectional area are constant, we can use that to determine the resistivity. Thank you for watching this video from Cowan Physics. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe, and visit cowanphysics.com.